again? Oh, it might be a bit bigger. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that little missed you by that much. <laughs> to Darwin and I got him a surprise. Yeah, it's better than the shit boxes you usually get. <laughs> <laughs> Except he's got two speeding fines in the Nissan in the last month. So he's got no points. So it's like the priest's getting a hole in one on Sunday. He's got the flash sports car and he's not gonna be able to go over the speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're heading off to Dundee and the weather's looking good for the next couple of days and we are hoping to Play some Jewies and have sure or maybe a barra. And have a bit of fun with Angler's Choice Safaris. Uh, home away from home in uh, the Northern Territory. Oh it's Rocco! Hello buddy! Hey, g'day John! Well here we are in Dundee. We have arrived. It's magnificent. All the charter guys are down there on the cliff top with Ryan eating crabs and fish. The sun is setting, which is magnificent. And the infinity pool. Table set for dinner. Lamps ready to be lit. Dinner ready. Dinner ready. Oh my We've God. We've had four nights of fish and seafood and tonight here we just need some good old lamb shank. Spend some time for a stunning meal and socialising with clients, not to mention make our plans for the next day. The following morning, Dave the head guide had a few hours spare, so we went out for a few hours barra fishing and a run up the Finnis River, check out the local wildlife. The tides were the neepers for the month, which was not really in our favour, but after a bit of searching we found a nice school of barra and encouraged a few fish to buy it. A couple of smaller fish hit the deck first and then so pulled the hooks on two good fish. Just a little fella, jumped a little one off before. We've got some great fish sitting here, but it is the middle of winter and we've had some weather changes. But the little fellas are weeding, willing to have a crack at the moment. Oh, isn't he gorgeous? Hungry. Lewis half the size of that. He Dunn. buffed that. Yeah. He hit it that hard, I thought it was a bigger fish actually, the way he smacked it. Maybe that buff will trigger the others. Your fingers crossed, yeah mate. Get you next year, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I finally got a good fish in the 90s to stay connected for a while. That's better. Sure enough. I jump at the boat and it threw the hooks too. Oh, I use your again. Oh, it might be a bit bigger. <laughs> oh, oh, that little missed you by that much. I know. <laughs> After fishing full time for over 30 years, I don't mind it if I lose a few good ones, as it's still great just to be out there. Karen and I both love the wildlife too, so we asked Dave to take us up and show us his local pets and what a better place to do it than the Finnish River. The crocs were everywhere, and many were green in colour, suggesting that they'd spent time up in the swampy reaches of the river. The bird life is outstanding too, with several species calling the river home, including these white-breasted sea eagles. They're the second largest eagle in Australia, and very capable of lifting good-sized prey off the water. We did check out a fishing spot or two when we were up there, but could only manage a couple of half-hearted nips as the tidal run was very minimal in there. So it was time to head back and relax a bit for the afternoon, and get ready to join one of Emma's groups the following day to target a few black jewfish and other inshore species. Another amazing sunset dinner and all the stories from the day's fishing kept us up for a while, but all that mattered was that the Jewies were going to play the game for us tomorrow. And after what the guys told us tonight, they done pretty well on the jewfish in the last couple of days. So our hopes are pretty high, so it's looking pretty good, even though we're coming towards the end of the Jewfish season here. The Black Jew are very popular in the Northern Territory. They're just as popular as Barramundi, pretty much. 
So tomorrow we've got a, around about a 40 minute run up the coast to some Jewfish grounds Ready and one of our sister boys. ships is going to be joining us and we're mostly going to be using bait. Uh, they respond a little bit better on bait over lures this time of year apparently. So we're going to head up there with some uh, nice squid baits and also use some strip tuna. So all the way to the bottom rock. You don't have to lift it up off the bottom, you really want to be sitting on the bottom rock. All the way down there. So you see it's a pretty big bait that we're using. So um, you might get little pickers and stuff like that, but really important just to leave it down there, let those bigger fish find it. So as I was saying, the bite of these fish, even though they're big fish, it can be really subtle. So what will generally happen is it'll be like a tap tap and then the weight will come on the rod. Yep. Really important that you let that weight come on the rod. And then, um, yeah, when you hook up, we'll get, get out of the way and we'll get stuck into it. Guys in the for second boat have hooked up first. <laughs> Look, we got a nice dewy on here. Just making a bit of ground now. Just giving him some curry going around the boat and whatnot. Well done, mate. Thank you. Great fish. This is what we've been fishing for. Nice. Come up here for us if you can. He's coming up near the rock. He's coming up near the anchor. He's a good fish. He's doing a bit of travelling. Your first black Jew, mate. I haven't seen what it is first. It's <laughs> They pull pretty hard. She's doing the right thing, she's gone up current. So we just got to be a bit careful here in this rope. Well done mate, well done. Doing everything right. So when we get him up, you'll see there's a leader on the end. I don't want you to wind him any higher than the leader. I'll reach over and grab him. We'll high five each other. Embrace lovingly. And then you find your buzz. <laughs> <laughs> with the price of cattle, everyone needs a friend, don't we? <laughs> Good stuff. So one of the reasons we picked this as a joey, because he goes up up current after the hooker, whereas sharks tend to go down current. So, so every time you wind down, make sure you keep that rod bent right. You nearly hit the lead. All right, beauty. I'll grab you. Yep, I can. Ah, oh, look at that. Nice one. Good job. Oh, look at that textbook hook up with the, with the circle in the corner of his mouth. Woohoo! Woo nice Dewey. There we go. Shit, right? Mm -mm, corner of the mouth. Great fish. Well done, boys. So if you have a look in his mouth, it's basically got no meat in there, it's just all skin layering over bone, so you get a lot of people strike on them, so you, you tend to miss hookups, even if you do hook them, they'll pull out during the fight, so we use circles, so you're getting them around the nice tough part in the bone there, and uh, very rarely pull hooks. Absolute predator. Well done, nice fish. Is that your biggest Jew? Ah, no worries. How's the arms? Well done.
Round two. Is that your second fish there? What was that? Is that your second one? As you can see, the ladies are carving it up with Steph landing two nice jewies in a row. We decided to leave the other boat to the jewies and we ventured out a couple miles further to some inshore shoals in search of some nice tuskies and gold snapper and possibly even a coral trout. After arriving, fish were stacked up and lit up the sounder like a Christmas tree. Literally. Quite a few tuskies hit the deck and they were joined by a couple of hookups on the goldies as well. Both are sensational table fish and very sought after up here. There were constant bites for some time before the sharks moved in and sent us packing, but it was a great little session. I'm here with the head guide Dave from Angler's Choice Fishing Safaris at Dundee Beach. Uh, Dave, uh, what do you like about Dundee the most, mate? Oh, Ryan, I mean, it's pretty hard to beat the variety here. I always say about Dundee, it doesn't have the best of anything, but it's got, the, it's got a bit of everything. So I, that's probably what keeps me here and it's probably what excites me the most about it, Dundee is that variety. So, I mean, we've got good barra options and we've got plenty of blue water options. So there's nothing we really miss out on. Definitely, and you've got that opportunity to fish the closed barra season in Queensland months. Yep. Over here, you can still fish November, December and, and, yeah. uh, the, and then the prime runoff period straight after that. Yeah, absolutely. So um, in, like, in regards to our barrow fishery, it's pretty diverse. So obviously we've got the runoff fishery, which everyone realises and everyone knows about. Um, but there is a lot more to it. That's sort of only 10% of the, the picture. Yep. We've got a really good dry season flats fishery. Yep. So a lot of sight casting and that sort of thing. We've got snag casting. And then once we move into the build up, you know, you've got those rock points and all that sort of stuff that Okay, it's pretty hard to beat catching the big girls off the rocks, so. Oh, for sure, definitely, yeah. mate. And out here, in the wide blue lawn, yonder, you've got all the pelagics, yeah. and I believe in the recent years, um, you've discovered quite a few uh, sailfish yeah, and so black marlin. So it's a bit of a bur um, emerging fishery out here with the billfish. Yep. It's only really been, I mean, it was discovered about 10 years ago, but it's really been in the last two years where there's been a focus on it, and so people are actually getting out here developing the skills to actually target them and now we've got a little flotilla actually targeting them obviously it's become a lot more consistent so, whereas yeah. before it was a bit of a bycatch thing yep. now we can come out here we can actually specifically target them and catch them reliably so cool all right we might head out to, i think we're coming out this way tomorrow to have a crack at some mackerel and tunas and maybe yep. a sailfish so we'll, we'll see how crossed. we go for sure fingers crossed and also mate i noticed a lot of the charter boats some in shore, you don't see any of them out here. If, I mean, and you guys have got a lot bigger boats. Is that the reason why? Yeah, so our boats were custom built for Dundee. Yep. So one of the things that sets us apart and one of the things that makes us a bit unique out here is there's only a handful of charter boats in the territory that have the survey the fish wider. So the majority of the charter boats we have up here, they're actually in um, 2D, so they're restricted to a mile offshore. Um, basically, there's a whole bunch of criteria that you need to meet to operate in these wider areas uh, so you need vessels over seven meters twin engines a whole bunch of basically safety features which make your day a hell of a lot safer um, so yeah our boats were custom built with all that in mind um, so we do have an awesome fishery on our doorstep one of the ways that we take advantage of that is we've obviously got bigger boats bigger fuel tanks um, so we can do those bigger runs so yeah. regardless of wind regardless of tide you can uh, you can find somewhere out of the way and always find a bit of water to yourself which sure. is important so, yeah definitely yeah find those fish that aren't seeing lures all the time so awesome mate and it's not just the fishing over here the landscape and the sunsets it's yeah. just amazing isn't it yeah it's a bit of a whole package deal really it's yeah it gets the a bit of everything that makes the territory good so yeah you know the thing i like the most so, john's cooking <laughs> that's a bonus it's really good isn't it it's, it's pretty good to, to go back at the end of the day after a good day fishing they have restaurant have a good quality feed, yeah sit on the balcony and watch the sunset so. cool well thanks mate thanks for a chat i'll let you get back to work no worries, mate. cheers we all had a big day in the northern territory sun and decided to head home and enjoy a late afternoon beer back at the beach house tomorrow we head offshore to film another fishing travel blog and see what's on offer out in the deep blue we just love this place, it's like our home away from home, and if you would like to experience the best that Dundee has to offer, contact Emma at Angler's Choice Fishing Safaris. We'll see you again in our Dundee Offshore blog.
That's what we came here for. Bad luck. Hey, bad luck? You wouldn't have lost that, Dave, would you? Bad angling. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. should blame the cameraman for not getting the first couple oh, of jumps. I know, I'm not a good cameraman. One of these days you'll sack me and get some. Position vacant. Position. Cameraman. <laughs> Catch another one, baby. Righto.